Hey guys, welcome to another boxing here on the channel. Got to show some McFarlane love here on the channel. It's been a minute since I could last recall opening up a figure here. Also, you play catch up on stuff I got from my trip to California back in November. <laughs> and we're in February or March, whenever this video is going up. So this figure, guys, I'm going to open up. is something actually I have not still seen out in the wild. And I think the only time I actually have seen it in person, uh, not even collector stores, maybe a collector store here. Maybe I don't know. But anyways. Um, that is the Joker Dragon from Dark Knight's Metal uh, McFarlane figure here. And when they announced this figure, I was super excited about this. So uh, to find it for a really good price out in the wild was really awesome. Didn't have to buy it secondhand on like Mercari or something. So definitely going to open this bad boy up, put him with here. I have a uh, death metal section up here in the corner. I'm not sure if you can see it or not in the frame. Probably not. Okay, so first off, we're gonna look at here is the trading card or data file card, as they say, that comes with it. Just a little glamour shot of the figure there. So looks really nice. So nice little photo of it. And then there is the back of the card there. So everything you wanna learn about that, there it is. It uh, does come with this really nice looking stand uh, to display it on because, you know, it's otherwise it would not be able to sit up because it's got his like fin fang things whatever you want to call it uh on his belly there but yeah there is the stand and everything that it's going to come on so we'll definitely put it on this stand here and get it to see all nice and neat I'll fix those and then it comes in two pieces <laughs> tail and other half but man the detail on this thing is so wicked the mouth is articulated so uh, you guys can see up here closely basically his mouth does open and close really neat looking so you can open or, co or close open definitely hasn't been using his mouthwash or, or whitening toothpaste as well uh and the, the sides got kind of some bloodish like fins around him there and then this is all super jagged and very detailed the hair it's almost like his hair flown behind it here tail is just kind of the same thing as him uh, it looks like it just kind of connects here this is a long piece holy so it just kind of snugs it looks like right into him from the back so it doesn't really do much um the seam is kind of noticeable that's the only kind of gripe i'd say i guess if they had to make it this big maybe just make it i don't know don't i guess if you didn't want to make it you know you want to make it one piece shrink it down a bit so you didn't have to have this here because it kind of has a gap right there now that's very visible so um that's kind of just a little my one pet peeve i guess i could say about this figurine there because you can't get it any closer really but i guess you just kind of like you know, i guess like that right there so there we go so yeah it just kind of sets in right there so very long piece of, i don't even know if this will actually fit in my case back there but still really cool really love the detail on this it looked good with the set and everything i like when they're kind of mcfarland's exploring more obscure things to do like um different like batmobile type or sidecar pieces pieces like this so not just regular figures and characters more of other obscure items that you can add to a scene or set of your figures but anyways guys let me know have you picked up this piece are you interested in picking up this piece uh, again i haven't really seen it out in the wild so if you're looking for it, good luck i think it might be on like uh, mcfarland's website well thank you guys for so much for watching this video hope you enjoyed it i'll see you guys next time and as always take it easy see ya